the current balance of power in the 110th um, House. Right now, the Democrats have uh, a, a significant majority in the House and a majority in the Senate. There's one seat that's vacant. Um, so we need to talk about what the prospects are for, for a change in party control, and in particular, what Republicans would need to gain um, in Congress. So House Republicans would need a net gain of 19 seats uh, to win a 218, 217 uh, majority in the House, and they would need a net gain of two seats in the Senate uh, to win that institution. So, what plays out if we have McCain winning or if we have Obama winning? That's one of these things that, you know, political scientists have have dealt with the question of, you know, is there going to be um, more apparent support for an African-American candidate in the polls than there would be in reality? <laughs> Obama. Obama is cool and intelligent. He struggles to overcome the fact that he has less elected experience than his rival. Euripides and Shakespeare couldn't have found two more stunningly different men to face each other. Reckless and tempestuous, McCain believes that even his most intemperate political decisions are honorable because, in the words of his campaign slogan, he puts country first and has years of experience to prove it. The trouble is he is asking voters to believe that because he considers himself an honorable man that we should trust his judgment.